Mr Nigel Dodds. Mr. Speaker, as we move into the parading season, I wonder would the Secretary of State comment on what she thinks the contribution is by Sinn Féin when they objected protest, for instance, against a parade in Dungiven, where there were no flags or no bans or anything of that sort to cause any offence to anyone, and in North Belfast where they object to the sharing of a main arterial route. Where is the shared future in that? Um, I, I believe that all parties who are involved with uh, parading or affected by it have a responsibility to in, try to engage constructively to find local solutions and build local relationships and trust which are essential to a peaceful parading season. And that, of course, goes for Sinn Féin as to all other groupings involved in such matters. Mr Nigel Dodds. Secretary State also comment on what contribution is made to a shared future by people who go out, as Sinn Féin have done, to glorify and revel in the murderous past of the IRA and to uh, cause great offence to victims by refusing, for instance, to come to the Northern Ireland Select Committee on Monday and refusing to be open and transparent about the on the run scheme. What sort of contribution is that to a shared future? And would the Secretary of State care to comment on it? Um, as I've said many times, it's important for all um, political leaders in, in Northern Ireland to express themselves in, in temperate terms and bear in mind the impact of their statements on members of the community who come from different traditions. The way forward for Northern Ireland is to build mutual respect rather than to focus on division and unity with um, inflammatory statements. Mr. 